Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We extend a warm welcome to each one of you to the Christmas carol service at the Bishop Cotton Girls School. I request you to rise as our principal and guests walk in. Please be seated.
Let us pray. Father in heaven, we come to your presence in the name of Jesus. Father, we just thank you for your awesome presence in our midst. As your word confirms, wherever God will be there in my name, I will be there in the midst of them. Father, in your presence, there is an eternal joy, and that joy is unspeakable. As we come before you, we acknowledge everything works good in our lives only through the work of the Holy Spirit. As you have spoken to Mrs. Lavanya, the principal, this pathway makes so much convenient for the students to come and take over their buses. Huh? So we pray and we ask to God, let thy mighty presence rest in this place, O God. And in your presence, let all the children diligently, faithfully, with obedience, they could able to get into the travel so that everything works good in the future of this school, O God. Father, we pray for your mighty anointing to rest upon this place, O God. Under the anointing of God, all the students joyfully, peacefully, happily, they would spend some time as they keep on waiting for the bus. Father, we just thank you. Ask your blessings, your presence, your protection, your anointing to rest upon every student and upon this place. We ask all these things in the name of Father the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, I dedicate this way for the glory of God and for the children of the people. On the completion of the inauguration of the walkway, our guests come back. I request everyone to please stand and welcome our dignitaries.
as the winter cold embraces us and the holiday spirit fills the air, let's come together to kindle the spirit of love, joy, and hope. As we remain standing, let us adore Christ our King and joyfully sing the hymn, O Come, All Ye Faithful. Let us invoke God's presence in our midst as I request Reverend Dr. Vincent Vinod Kumar, Secretary, CSI Karnataka Central Diocese, Vice Chairman of the Board of Management, to open this celebration with prayer. Shall we look to God in prayer? Loving Jesus, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Divine Majesty. We thank you for this pleasant evening and for gathering us in this manner to celebrate Christmas at our Bishop Cotton Girls School. We invoke your blessings on our beloved moderator in charge of the Church of South India Right Reverend Dr. Ruben Mark, we pray that you would use your servant among us to empower, enrich, and enlighten us through your word. Bless the Moderators Commissary of the Karnataka Central Diocese, Right Reverend Martin C. Borgai. We pray that you would use a beloved bishop as your channel of blessing and as an instrument of your grace among us. Best of your blessings on the officers of the diocese, members of the executive committee, dignitaries, 
and esteemed guests, members of the Board of Management of Bishop Cotton Girls School, the principal of Bishop Cotton Girls School, Dr. Lavanya Mitran, the faculty, the office and maintenance staff, very especially our student friends and their parents and well-wishers. Sovereign God, shower your special blessings, grace upon grace, on this evening Christmas program. As students, staff and faculty present various Christmas programs, glorify yourself. Grant to everyone who is performing very special blessings and equip them to perform exceedingly well and present the program at its best. Bless us, be with us, and magnify your holy name among us. Like the wise men from the East who worshipped you as King, enable each one of us to acknowledge you as our Lord and Savior, as our King and Divine Majesty, worthy of our praise, adoration, honor, and glory. Inspire us to this evening program. Enable us to seek your will and do your will. Glorify yourself in the blessed name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Please be seated. Reverend Y. Justin, Chairman, KCD, Civil Area, and Member, Board of Management, will read to us from the Holy Scripture. The Bible portion is appointed for this evening. The Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 2, verses beginning from 8 to 18. And there were in this same country shepherds abiding in the field keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around about them, and they were so of pride. And the angel, of, angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to the all people. For unto you, is a born this day in the city of David, a Savior, which is Christ the Lord, and this shall be a shine unto you, and ye shall find babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward man. And, in the, and it came to pass, and the angel were gone away from them into heaven. The shepherds said to one, one another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see the things which is come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And the same they came with the haze and found Mary and shepherd and the babe laying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad and saying, which was told, told them concerning this child. And all they, they, they that heard it wondered and those things which told them by the shepherd. You are in the scripture. Thank you, Reverend. I now call upon our principal, Dr. Mrs. Lavanya Mithrin, to address and welcome the gathering on this festive occasion.
A very good evening to all of you. Greetings to you as we celebrate our Savior's birth. We thank God for his immeasurable blessings that he has showered on the Bishop Cotton Girls School for more than a century and a half. This evening, we have been favored by the presence of eminent persona in our midst. We are more than delighted to have with us this evening the Right Reverend Dr. K. Ruben Mark, moderator in charge. We are, the, we are more than delighted to have with us this evening the Right Reverend Dr. K. Ruben Mark, moderator in charge, CSA Synod, Church of South India, and Bishop of the Karim Nagar Diocese. During the 36th session of Church of South India Synod, Right Reverend Dr. K. Ruben Mark was elected as deputy moderator for the triennium 2020 to 2023 and subsequently for the triennium 2023 to 2026. Right Reverend Dr. K. Ruben Mark was consecrated as bishop on 4th of May, 2015. Bishop continues to serve diligently, and we are so happy that he could be present on this important occasion. May I now request our Dyson Treasurer, Dr. N.D. Solomon Raju, to honor the moderator in charge, Right Reverend Dr. K. Ruben Mark. Thank you, Dr. N.D. Solomon Raju. It gives me great joy to welcome and introduce to you the Right Reverend Dr. Martin C. Bogai, Moderator's Commissary and Bishop of the Karnataka Northern Diocese. Thank you, Bishop, for your esteemed presence with us on this important occasion. I request Mr. Vinod Dasan, Treasurer of the Board of Management, to do the honors. On this occasion, we are glad that Bishop Prasanna Kumar Samuel and Professor Mrs. Esther Prasanna could join us. Mr. George Mohan and Mrs. Aishwarya Anil, members of the Board of Management, will honor Bishop P.K. Samuel and Professor Mrs. Esther Prasanna. I 
I take this opportunity to warmly welcome the officers of the diocese, Reverend Dr. Vincent Vinod Kumar, Secretary of the Diocese and Vice Chairman of the Board of Management and Presbyter in Charge, St. Mark's Cathedral. Dr. N.D. Solomon Raju, Treasurer of the Diocese and Chairman of the Education Committee and Member of the Board of Management of Bishop Cotton Girls School. Reverend Christopher Samuel, Assistant Secretary and Presbyter in Charge, East Parade Church. Reverend E. George Jai Prabhu, Associate Treasurer of the Diocese and Presbyter in Charge of CSI Shanti Church. I extend a warm welcome to the members of the Executive Committee and the Education Committee of the Karnataka Central Diocese. Thank you for your presence today. May I most humbly request you to rise so that our staff can come and honor you. Mr. Jai Chandran, Mr. Jai Kumar, members of the Executive Committee. Mrs. T Sweetie and me, Reverend Salome Joshua. I also take this opportunity to extend a very warm welcome to the members of the Board of Management and thank them for their consistent and overwhelming support throughout the year. Mr. Vinod Dasan, Treasurer Board of Management. We welcome you, Mr. Vinod Dasan, for this carol service. Reverend Y. Justin, Member, Board of Management and Area Chairman. Mr. George Mohan, Member of the Board of Management. Mr. Devda Sadhu, Member of the Board of Management.
Mrs. Aishwarya Anil, member of the Board of Management. I also welcome and acknowledge the presence of the principals of the KCD, both past and present, and greatly appreciate your presence today. It is indeed heartening to see some of our retired staff. Welcome back. A very warm welcome to the old Catonian Association who hold this school close to their hearts and they are spontaneous in their support and presence at the school. Welcome dear students of the Bishop Gill Girls Boarding Home and we look forward to your spirited performance as always. Without much ado, I am sure you will enjoy this evening's program and I take this opportunity to wish each one of you a blessed Christmas and New Year. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. There's nothing that brings people together like Christmas. It is a time filled with love, joy, and hope. A season of gifts, lights, bells, and stars, not forgetting carols. Here we have our little angels from kindergarten setting the tone for this season with their Christmas medley. Yeah. 
Let's give our babies another round of applause when they lovely, cute, and confident. As we continue in the spirit of music and celebrate the baby boy born in Bethlehem, one who brought into the world healing, strength, and hope. Ladies and gentlemen, sit back and enjoy this meaningful rendition by our junior school choir. All because of him. All because of him, the junior school choir.
Thank you, girls. How powerful and emotive have our little ones been. A beautiful rendition. The Bishop Cotton Girls School, as part of its outreach program, has been sponsoring the Bishop Gill Girls Boarding Home in KGF since 2002. At present, there are 33 girls residing in the hostel. These girls come from underprivileged background, but with a little help have completed their education and have gone on to become nurses, teachers, blank bank employees, and are working in several private companies. We at Cotton's wish to express a heartfelt gratitude to all parents who have helped us contribute to several such deserving organizations. Parents, you have indeed been very gracious and generous and have blessed so many with your contributions. Thank you once again. And today, we are delighted to have with us in our celebration the talented girls from the Bishop Gill Boarding Home who will perform a classical dance celebrating God and mankind, who we believe are in the image of God. Devanin Sayalil Padaitavar Yavarum by Bishop Gill Boarding Home.
Thank you girls that was an incredibly captivating performance we wish them the very best and god's choices blessings it is an honor to welcome the moderator in charge of the church of south india right reverend dr k ruben mark to deliver the christmas message A very good evening to all of you. What a joy to be in this, such a wonderful August gathering, gathered to celebrate a lovely Christmas, depicting the lovely Savior's birth. I deem it as a great privilege and a honor to be with you all this evening. Especially, I love to acknowledge my dear brother bishops, Bishop Prasanaya and Amma. What a joy to see you both this evening. And also, the moderator commissary and Bishop of Kennedy Diocese, Bishop Martin Ayah. I deem to be before them, I feel they would be a better person to be here rather than me. Thank you, Principal Lavanya, for inviting me to be here this evening. And also, the treasurer, Vinod Dasan, who was so kind to coordinate the whole thing in bringing me down here. I would like to say, you know, a very good evening to the Dyson officers of the Karnataka Central Diocese and also to all the other dear friends. I know 
parents sitting there longing to see their children's performances more than rather than looking at me or hearing from me and no wonder i've been watching on the screen you know how parents were looking at the children when their children were performing and some of the parents faces like when i could read their faces they are longing to see their children on the stage so i would be very short here this night we have gathered to really look at this wonderful king who is born no wonder there are many kings on the earth who were born but many kings who have born have disappeared countries in which kings were born do not remain anymore in the history of their own country kings who are still there in some countries their birthdays are celebrated only in their respective countries but here is a lovely king who is born not in a palace not in an aristocratic family not anywhere in a renowned places but it's something surprising how come this king jesus who is born in a manger is today worship as a king imagine many kings were born in palaces kings who are born in big big mansions today they remain only as a history children study in the classrooms they study about those kings in the textbooks only teacher can find about those kings in a classroom but here is a king who is born in a lovely sweet manger who is not only you know taught who is not only you know looked at but also today he is the one who is also worshiped imagine this king born in bethlehem but he is worshiped all over the world there is no other king in this world you know who is worshiped in every part of the world if at all there is one king who is worship in all over the world in every country it is jesus christ might be wondering why this king is born jesus christ is worship by everyone in this world during this particular season you go to any country the moment you land in the airport you see you know lovely airport beautifully decorated lovely carol songs being played you know these are the songs that welcome you into their countries go to any shopping mall even in the shopping mall you see a celebration there the owner comes from a different faith everywhere you see this you know celebration of this king who is born being celebrated all over is there any king you know who is celebrated all over the world if at all there is one king that is jesus christ who is born who is 2000 years back but whose birthday is still celebrated 
There is no other king in this world whose birthday is celebrated, you know, was born some hundreds of years back and still being celebrated. Why? Why this king who is born is being celebrated even after 2,000 and odd years? Because this king who is born is not to make war. Kings are known for their wars. Kings are known for their capturings. But this king who is born as a savior is known to make love. This Jesus who is born as a king is born not to make a war, but he is the one who is born to make love. Dear friends sitting this night, this is one of the reasons why today, even after thousands of years back, this king is not just confined to Bethlehem, but this king is worshipped all over the world by many, many people. Because he's born as a king to make love. And not only that, you might be wondering, during this king's birthday, a lot of gifts you see people giving to one another. Why this king depicting his birthday, why do people give gifts? I don't see in this world, you know, thinking of some king's birthday and people giving gifts to each other. Imagine during Christmas time, parents give to children, children give gifts to par parents, friends give to friends, husband gives to wife, wife gives to husband. Many ways, even the poorest of the poor, children receive gifts during Christmas time. These gifts are, born, are given because this king is born as a gift to the world itself. Might be some kings are born to their countries. Some kings are born for their families. But this king Jesus is born as a gift to the whole world. And that's the reason why in this world everyone gave gifts to one another. Imagine, this king who is born is not only a gift to the rich people. He's not only a gift to elites. He's not only born as a gift, you know, to the people coming from aristocratic families. If Jesus is born only for those, the shepherds wouldn't have been there when he was born. Because this king is so unique that he he's born for every one of us. As I was sharing about this king is born as a gift, I would like to tell you a small story depicting that happened during a Christmas season. I just said this is a time that you know, people give gifts and receive gifts. There was a lovely, you know, cute children. They are known as orphan children. Living in an orphanage. And these children orphanage was located in such a way where the window panes of that beautiful orphanage was facing the road. A main road where thousands of people would be passing by all through the day. And these children, the moment they come back from their school, they would be watching from the window panes, the window glasses, the people who pass by. And one Christmas, 
they received a wonderful gifts and the moment the children received gifts the children took the gifts and you know how anxious they would be and you know how they you know unpack the gift children started tearing the paper the gift wrap and each child looked at the gifts that they got and they ran to the mother who was taking care of their this orphan children one child goes up to that mother and said mother i got such a lovely car mama see this car is so good when you pull it back and leave it it just goes off ma like this it just goes boy it goes off another child comes up with another ball and says mama i have never seen this kind of ball you know the moment i hit it you know it rises with lovely colors in that ball i am so happy mama to see this ball as a gift another lovely girl comes up and she started describing the doll that she got mama the hair of the doll is so nice nice than my hair it's so beautiful than my hair mama this doll not only has good hair you know the moment you make it sleep it closes its eyes mama the moment you make it sit it open its eyes every child what they got they were taking it and showing to the mother and they were playing but one child he did not open the wrap the child took that wrap and put it on a window on of his next to his bed and the mother that night when she went on rounds to see all the children whether they slept or not this child did not open the wrap the gift he just kept it on the window mother thought this child would open when all the other children are sleeping next day morning when she went on rounds to wake up the children the child did not open it but the mother thought okay this child may go to school come back and then take leisurely and open it and enjoy it but even after coming to the, from the school he did not open it but late evening the mother asked the little child child you got this gift yesterday and all the children in this home have opened it they showed me they showed their excitement their joy and they could even play with it and some of them are still enjoying it why you did not open your gift child why did you keep it on the window with the wrap still there so colorful wrap it was so shining the little child said mama i have been in this orphanage for 13 years many people who pass by this orphanage thousands and thousands of people every day pass by many of them know that in this home there are many all the children who live in this have no mama or dada we are orphan in this home mama i kept that gift on that window pane for all these people who pass by this home to know that there is somebody who loves me i wanted to show them 13 years i have been in this orphanage i haven't received anything but this is the first time i received i kept it on the window pane for all those people to see and to know there is somebody who loves me dear friends this king who is born is born to make us all know that he is there to love us all 
May this king who is born make you experience this Christmas season that he loves you. He's born to love you. God bless you all and wish you all a Merry Christmas and a blessed, lovely New Year. God bless you all. Thank you, Bishop, for that meaningful message. The King is born to love us all. Christmas is more than just a story about a special time and place. Christmas is a time to lift a song of praise. For the Lord our God is here. Emmanuel has come. A song by the staff choir.
Thank you, choir. You fill our hearts with joy as you declare his coming. However well we may seem to know the Christmas story, the nativity is a reminder of God's incredible love to each one of us. For God so loved the world that he gave us his only son, the King, the Redeemer came for us. The King is born, a Christmas musical by the Bishop Cotton Girls School. you to celebrate the birth of the king and savior of the world. This king comes with promise of deliverance from all bondage, freedom from all fetters, and peace to all humankind. For he says, I am zealous over Zion and I will And I, will, and I will travel and dwell in her midst. So come along with us to the city of Bethlehem as we sing, dance, and present to you an event that has changed the course of history.
once upon a time, during the reign of Augustus Caesar, while Quirinius was the governor of Syria, a decree was passed by Caesar commanding that every man be registered at his place of birth with his family. People were forced to leave their work and travel to their place of birth. In the city of Bethlehem, there were people everywhere. Those who were traveling complained. Those who had inns selling food and fodder were happy because of the chance to make quick money. Amongst these people who lived during these times were three friends, Eli, the innkeeper, Tobias, the cloth merchant, and Isa, the owner of cattle. Their lives changed forever suddenly when they least expected it. And this is the story about how it came to pass. My inn has been doing so well recently. You've been getting so many new cars. Huh. There comes Tobias. Shalom, my friend. Shalom. Welcome back. Shalom, Tobias. How was your journey? Made new deals? Shalom, my brothers. My journey was good and business went well. This time, I got lucky because I met all of my regular buyers while selling the finely woven purple linen and the usual linen. Well, good for you. <laughs> That's incredible news. Any interesting news from Jerusalem? Oh, no. Right now, the most happening thing is the registration according to the decree of Augustus Caesar. People are traveling everywhere. The city is bustling with activity. Did you have time to visit the temple? <coughs> oh, yes, I did actually. I visited the temple just before I started my return journey. And I met someone quite unusual there. An old man named uh, uh, Simeon. Yes. Simeon. Who is the Simeon? He seemed like a prophet of sorts. He was nice and we struck conversation. He told me he was waiting to see the savior of the world <laughs> before he died. He was a little eccentric, but then, I don't know, something about him told me he was quite serious about this whole waiting. He told me it was promised to him that he'd see the savior of the world before his time on earth was done. I don't know, but he certainly seemed like a prophet, you know? Wow, that is amazing. I'm having goosebumps. <laughs> goosebumps? This whole thing about the coming of the oh, savior. Sir. There goes the skeptic amongst us. What? We have been talking about him for so long. Our grandparents and their grandparents as well. But there is no sign of him. If he's coming, he better hurry up. We all need a reprieve. With Caesar ruling us and this whole pandemonium he's caused with this whole registration business. On Isa, don't act like you're not waiting like the rest of us.
both of you are at it again. Oh, I almost forgot. I heard the most incredible story from my sister. You will be amazed too. Anissa, perhaps it will cure you of your disbelief. Talia, is she here? Yes, with her husband and children to be registered here in Bethlehem. They arrived yesterday. Wait, let me call her. Talia? Talia? Shalom, Talia. Shalom. Shalom, Talia. How have you been? The Lord has been good to us. Your brother here tells us you have an interesting story to tell us. Tell it to us right away. It's not a story. It's a miracle. It's about my mistress, Elizabeth, and her husband, Zechariah, who is a priest. For many years, she's longed to be blessed with a child. And now, the Lord has finally heard her and blessed her. For she is now with child, even though she is past her childbearing age. An angel of the Lord appeared to her and her husband and said that they will have a son and are to name him John. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before he is born. He will bring the people of Israel back to the Lord their God. <laughs> wow, that is an amazing story, huh? It's not a story. And wait till you hear the rest of it. Yes. One day, my mistress Elizabeth was in the house and her cousin Mary visited her. Shalom, Elizabeth. Peace be on you, Mary. How have you been, dear Elizabeth? I wanted to see the Lord's kindness for myself, and I came as soon as I heard that you are with child.
God. That sounds amazing, Talia. Even more amazing is the fact that Elizabeth addressed her cousin as the mother of her Lord. If Elizabeth's son is really going to be a prophet, like what the others say, I wonder who Mary's son is going to be. Is he really going to be the one we've all been waiting for? So are you implying that this Mary's son is going to be greater than a prophet? Yes. And you both, <laughs> you both think he's going to be the long-awaited savior. You don't think it is probable? No. Why are you both so gullible, so naive? You believe this thing? Yes! No! No! You know what? We can wait for the baby to be born and see what and how the child turns out to be for ourselves. Sir, you are wanted at the inn. That, my friends, is reality calling. Saviour or not, Caesar's ruling has bought in a lot of good That's business right. and right. I am saved by it. Now, while you go mind your inn, me and Tobias what? are going to take my flock for grazing. Why me? Now what did I do? Because my men have gone to register in their places of birth. Wait, so you're telling me that you're making me, me, a cloth merchant, a shepherd now? Tobias, I am short of hands and so you are a friend in need. What do you say? Will you lend me a hand? Friend in need? When you're talking to me like that, you think you're giving me options. <laughs> Great, let's go. Friend, friend in, need. in need. You stayed a few more days in Jerusalem. Sir, my wife is about to deliver our child. She cannot wait or stand any longer. Could you please register us now? No preferential treatment. Wait until it's your turn. Sir, my wife is about to deliver our child. Could I please stand here, please? Do whatever you want.
अच्छा है Joseph, I cannot wait any longer. We have to find a place right now. The night is falling upon us, and we need to prepare for it is not too long before the baby arrives. So please, hurry and find us a place. Okay, Mary. I hope we find a room. The other places I inquired are bursting full. The Lord, the Lord will provide for this child. So keep looking. Okay, Mary, you wait here. I will check in those two ends there. Sir, my wife is about to deliver our child. Could you please give us a room? A small room is fine, sir. No, we are full. There are no rooms. Sir, my wife is about to deliver our child. Could you please give us a room? Any room is fine. Sorry, we are actually full right now. A small room is fine, sir. Please. But at the cattle shed? We only have a cattle shed. Is that all right? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Mary, I found us a barn, more of a cattle shed, but we can go there. If this is what the Lord has provided us with, then so be it.
what you've done to me. A trader, a uh, fine purple and linen. Here, smelling and looking after your dirty sheep. Ugh. Come on now. That's what friends are for. Uh -huh. To show you what life is. Now, you know the finer and the not so fine things. <laughs> I smell so bad. Isa, you really cannot be joking right now. Come on now, stop whining. Mm. Look at the starry night. Wow. Lit by oh, the beaming beautiful. moon, lying on your back. You can pretend like everything is yours. You've got to be thankful, Toby. Nonsense. Utter nonsense, I tell you. Talking about being thankful, you should be thankful to me. For here I am missing a good night's rest, putting up with hey, all of this bleating. What? Do you hear that? I hear what? Do you hear the music? What Look, music? Sir. <gasps> Fear not, for I bring you good tidings of great joy. that a vision? What did we just see? Oh Lord, angels and David. Incredulous, stupendous, marvelous. This is unfathomable. We witnessed angels. But wait, all of you, Isa, we must hurry. We have to see the Christ child. Come, let's go. Come. 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 On earth. Yeah.
came to see the baby stood by his mother's side. Here lay the Savior inside a manger. Oh, what a glorious night! Oh, what a glorious night! I hear the angels singing. Everywhere, every manger. Where is the baby? No, not yet. Not every manger. There's still one more manger left in Bethlehem. The one in Eli's end? Yes. But that is hardly used. Only when the guests come in with their cattle. Still, it's a cattle shed, and we must have a look. Let's go meet Ellie. What are you all doing here? Came in search of pasture. No, sir. But we have come in search of Christ, the Lord. Yes, Eli. We were out on the field, and an angel of the Lord appeared unto us here. Yeah, an angel it was, and the angel said the most incredible thing heard by human ear ever. Tell us right away, Eli. 
Is there a child born in your internet? What are you both talking about? Angels? Christ child? I can't make any sense of your gibberish. Eli, we were out in the fields and we had one of the most unlikely visitors shining bright. What? Yes, we were out on the field and an angel appeared to us and told us that Christ the child is to be born unto us, us right here in the city of David. And we are to find the child wrapped in swaddling cloth, lying in a manger, Eli, a manger. And they stopped. Oh Lord, in my inn? Come along now. Earlier there was a couple and the wife was with child. The man said that the woman's time had come and that they had found no place. I had to put them up for the night in my cattle shed because there was simply no room at the inn. Oh Lord, had I known, I would have given them my best room. No, no, even my own house. What amazing grace is stored upon me that I, even I, should behold the savior of the world. visitors, kings from afar to worship him. We have seen the star of the and have come to worship Christ the Lord. I cannot fathom what's happening. Truly amazing. Yes, to be addressed by this heavenly host and to witness such an incredible event. <sighs> Truly amazing. What did I do to deserve this joy and this blessing? To have the savior of the world under my roof? I can't even begin to describe what's happening. It's like being, being struck by a bolt of lightning, I say. You, my friends, at least believed he would come. I called it a fairy tale. Here I am now, touched by the joy of seeing my Lord and Savior with nothing to give him. We may have riches and worldly possessions out of bounty. We may bring offerings to him. But did we not receive them from him in the first place? Then what have we to give him? Yes, 
when god meets us we we'll realize we have nothing to give him for all that we have we've received from him so the only thing we can truly offer is the love and devotion of our poor hearts for that and only that can we truly offer to him i pray that grace is given to us so that our hearts can be a dwelling place for him earlier today we have seen his glory with our own eyes even though he is only lying in a manger wrapped in swaddling cloth i pray that abundant grace is bestowed upon us so that he will find pleasure to be born in the manger of our own hearts for this and only this can we truly give him
Christmas is a time of surprises. We surely are not short of that here at Cotton's. To bring in the festive spirit and to cheer us on, we have students from kindergarten to standard 12. So hold on to your seats. Here they come.
so much brighter and better. Your energy got us all tapping and shaking and dancing. Thank you. We now have our school choir presenting to us and the song goes on. love you to go on and on. He reigns in our hearts forever. Thank you, choir. That truly was inspirational. As we now move on to the solemn part of this service, 
and the candles are lit. The song we are to sing now carries a fundamental message of peace, even in the midst of suffering, has bridged cultures and generations, having been translated into over 300 languages. It speaks of hope in hard times, beauty that arises from pain, comfort and solace, and reminds us of a universal sense of grace that transcends Christianity and unites people across cultures and faith. Silent Night. Let us rise as we sing Silent Night.
as we come to the end of this service, I request Right Reverend Dr. Martin C. Borgai, the moderator's commissary and Bishop of CSI Karnataka Northern Diocese to close with prayer. Let us pray. Melana Loka Dali, Devari Mahime, Boloka Dali, Manisha Rolage, Samadana, Devaro, Aurige, Walevan. Dear people of God, this evening as we come before the mighty God, we acknowledge we are here by the grace of God. As a church, we are the wineskin. As a church, we are the wineskin. And he is the wine. The wineskin should able to contain and sustain the wine all the time. So that as a church, we the people of God, we could able to reach out to the unreached one. To the poor. To the widows. To the sick. And this is what Christ came in order to establish the peace. So when we receive that peace and the joy and the happiness, it is our responsibility during the time of Christmas, we could able to go and unreach the, the unreached one, help them, guide them, provide them, and celebrate along with them the Christmas. Christ came not only for Chris, Christians, he has come for everyone, for the whole universe. So the universe has been celebrating. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we come to your presence this evening in the name of Jesus. Father, we just thank you for your grace, your mercy, your love, your compassion. As we come before you, Lord, we celebrate the victory in season and out of season. All the time, we celebrate the victory. You are the victorious God. You are an amazing God. You are the miracle working God. You are the magnificent God. This evening, as we have been celebrating the Christmas in Bishop Cotton's girls school, we thank you for every event that the children has brought forth. The birth of Christ. Christ came in order to bridge the gap so that we all together with unity get matured in our life with the word of God and establish an amazing and wonderful peace around us in the life of the community in the life of the churches father we just thank you only God your begotten son you have sent upon this face of the earth and through Jesus Christ, you have brought every one of us together. Today, we are here together from different community, from different background. All of us, we celebrate the wonderful birth of Christ. We thank you for that. Pray, ask you God. Help us all the time to go an extra mile and to serve the people. And to pray for the people. And to stand in the gap for the people. Intercede for them. So that during the time of this Christmas, we could be able to celebrate the birth of Christ, the joy of God, along with the people who are still in darkness. Thank you. Ask your blessings rest upon every one of the children here. Ask your abundance of grace, mercy, love, compassion. To rest upon this wonderful the school of God we thank you for every one of them as they have performed an amazing and wonderful event this evening oh God ask your direction in the future help them guide them be with them and let the name of the living God be glorified from this wonderful school all the time throughout 
Thank you, God. We thank you once again for every one of the invitees here. Bless every brother, every sister here. And help us together celebrate the victory. Celebrate this wonderful Christmas so that we are the light of the world. We are the light of the world. So that we could able to show that light to the nation. And we are the history makers. Thank you, Father. We thank you and we praise you. We give all the glory. We ask all these things in the name of Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop. I now request Bishop Reverend Dr. P.K. Samuel to offer the benediction. With faith and confidence, let us receive God's blessings. Unto God's gracious mercy and protection be commit to you. The blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you, very especially during this Christmas season and in the new year. With this institution and with all the parents, well-wishers, students, and the others, both now and forevermore. be seated i just take one minute just to express our gratitude and thanks to this beautiful choir with all the musicians and the musical drama that our children were able to make we wish you well and god's blessing i was able to see every student the teachers have tapped the resources whether it was a skit or a dance or anything you have your talents and may god bless you and uh, give you all the blessings in the years ahead I also should be able to tell you, without the permission of the bishops present here, I would like to tell you the education world in very recently has adjusted this institution, number one in Bangalore City, number one in Karnataka, and number one in India. <laughs> Dr. Mrs. Lavanya Mitran, the officers of the diocese, the management committee, the bishops here. We wish you well, and I'm sure that the parents and the others would be able to appreciate and the student body teaching and the non-teaching faculty your involvement made this day this season of christmas a more meaningful one god bless you and thank you thank you much bishop I request all our dignitaries to step on stage to take a photograph to mark this very important occasion in our school. The cast members, I request everyone to move on stage. Wherever you are, please step onto the stage. everyone who was part of this event. Could we have all the little ones as well, please? The Santas, the reindeer.
this night belongs to each one of you. Thank you for taking time off and being with us here today. The girls for putting their heart and soul into this scintillating performance. The hardworking teachers, the inspiring principal and management for making this spectacular show possible. Make this Christmas a memorable one. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good night.